If you want to have students peer review submitted papers to provide some feedback to each other, you have to use a workaround to have students complete this task. This tutorial will show you a way to, to use a group Dropbox that is not tied to the gradebook for peer review and create a group discussion topic for students to critique each other's work. You will then use a normal Dropbox that is tied to the gradebook for, for you to grade the student's work. To be quite honest, a much simpler solution and workaround would be to create a discussion topic and have the students attach their paper to their thread that they, that they create. You may want to review the tutorials on creating discussions if you want to use that, this method, that method. In this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and show you how this method works or this workaround works. I'm going to click on communicate and click groups. I'm going to click new category and I'm going to give the group a name. In this case, I'm going to call it Peer Review. I don't put any description in. In the Enrollment Type drop-down, choose Number of Groups, because essentially what I'm going to be doing here is creating a single group um, with all of the students in the class in that group, so they can all have access to this to the group Dropbox. So I'm going to put one for the number of groups. In the um, Additional options, if this is not expanded, click on the expand. If it is already, just leave it there. Click on check boxes that next to the setup discussion area and set up discussion folders. And go ahead and click save. This will now step you through the process of creating the discussion area. Click new forum. Click type in peer review for the forum name. Click save and then click Create and Next. Now we're going to create the Dropbox folder. Again, I'll call it Peer Review because it makes sense for that particular name. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is choose complete all the property, all the folders, all the properties. The one property I don't want to choose is a grade item, <clears throat> but I can choose all the other properties of the Dropbox. For now, I'll just go ahead and click Create. So a workspace summary screen shows outlining what was created for the group. I'm going to go ahead and click Done. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Save. What happens now and what has happened is there's a group discussion topic for the students to critique each other. There's a single Dropbox where the students can submit to that Dropbox. It's not tied to the gradebook. And since every student's in the group, they can all submit and they can all view each other's submissions and it'll tell you the number of members, which is, in this case, 10 students in the group. So the next step in the process is then to create a normal Dropbox for the students to go ahead and submit their paper to the Dropbox when they're done with the review. In this particular case, I go to Submission Review, I go to Dropboxes, I click New Folder, and here I might call it Final you know, Paper or whatever I want to call it, and again, I can do all the other settings that I want. In this case, I would maybe add it to a new grade item. So I have a new grade item. And maybe it's worth, you know, 75 points. And click Save and put the 75 in here. So I could enable it for originality, add it to the grade book, um, set up my submission options do all kinds of things and click Save and Close. And now I have the normal Dropbox. I have the peer review Dropbox that's connected to the groups. This one only allows each individual students and the other students can't see each other's work. So that's the workaround if you want to use this method. Uh, again, a simpler method is just to use the discussion topic and have the students attach their paper to the discussion topic and have the students critique each other's within that.